Hello friends, my name is George, the nice smelling gentleman. When it comes to men's perfumery, my most favorite note is the note of iris. And I have quite a few iris fragrances in my collection. And today I'm going to show you 5 iris uh, fragrances from my collection that are perfect 10 out of 10. As I said in the opening, all 5 fragrances that I'm going to show you today will contain iris but in some cases the iris is going to be more of a, a prominent, the, the note of iris is going to play more of a prominent role and in some cases it's going to play more of a support role. And I'm going to start with a fragrance uh, from the House of Valentino which is called the Valentino Uomo. Now this is the original one, uh, the uh, EDT uh, and that's the new style bottle uh, that's been used by Valentino in the past couple of years. Now what you should know about this fragrance here Valentino have used uh, a powdery type of iris, uh, a lipsticky type of iris, but here they've added a few additional notes to make this uh, a bit different compared to uh, its uh, intense flanker and also uh, different to the way that Dior are using that lipsticky type of iris. In the opening, here we have a very nice bergamot note and then on the dry down, this dries down to a very nice combination of iris, some leather and some cedar and also uh, some additional notes like uh, hazelnut and uh, dark chocolate note in here. Those two notes, the dark chocolate note and the hazelnut note combined with uh, the note of iris make this one uh, slightly different as I said compared to the intense flanker and the Dior Homme line. We have a very nice very classy combo, it's sweet but without being overly sweet, without being overly powdery. This fragrance has um, Good performance, I get about 7 to 8 hours, it's a really classy gentleman-y uh, sort of a smell and it could be used very well, very well for date nights. At number 1, the first fragrance in today's video, the Valentino Uomo. The second fragrance that I'm going to show you today is going to be one from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier and that's the Le Mans Le Parfum. Now here the iris plays more of a support role. Um, this is the original, basically the original uh, Le Mans DNA with the lavender and uh, vanilla combo, but here with the added uh, touch of the iris. Well, what that makes, it changes the whole scent profile, makes this a bit more modern, like a lot more modern, makes it a lot more sexy, makes it a little bit darker, a little bit more serious, um, a little bit more mature. Uh, this fragrance has a very good performance, uh, lasts well over 10 hours on me. Um, it's a very sexy smell, uh, it's a compliment getter for sure. It's a really nice addition to the uh, Le Mans uh, line. And uh, number two today is going to be the uh, Le Mans Le Parfum. The third fragrance in this video is going to be one from the house of Givenchy and that's going to be the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. Now here we have the original uh, Givenchy Gentleman EDP DNA with uh, a few added notes, uh, mainly uh, a chestnut note and a whiskey note. Here the iris plays sort of a prominent role, it does, it, the, the, the whole fragrance isn't like uh, centered only around the note of iris and the added chestnut note and the uh, whiskey notes in here, they make this fragrance uh, really nice, really unique, again slightly darker, slightly more mature, great for cold nights, uh, great for date nights, uh, pretty good performance, it's not a super performing fragrance, I get about 7 to 8 hours, but the smell, the whole scent profile here is really nice. And that combination of iris, chestnut and whiskey is really, really nice. Uh, in uh, the third fragrance in today's video, the Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. At number four uh, today, I'm going to show you a fragrance from the House of Prada. And this one is going to be the Prada L'Homme Intense. Now again, here iris plays a major role. Uh, the fragrance is centered around iris, but Prada have done have used the iris in a very different way compared to the Valentino Womo and everything else I showed you so far. Here Prada have uh, used the note of iris like they uh, like to do their fragrances. It's clean, it's very soapy uh, type of iris in here. The fragrance revolves uh, around the note of iris but here we have uh, also the notes of patchouli, amber, some leather, some tonka bean. It smells really uh, clean, really classy. Uh, like uh, really gentlemanly. Uh, I really love this fragrance. Uh, I was wearing this yesterday. I hadn't worn it for quite a while. It has pretty good performance. I get eight to nine hours out of it. Um, the problem with this one is a bit of uh, about the availability. There were some rumors about this being discontinued. Now there are rumors that this is uh, back in stock. I'm not too sure. I have an older style bottle in here, but uh, this is one of my most favorite scents out there. The uh, Prada Lom Intense.
And at number five, one of my uh, all time most favorite scents, one of the best men's scents ever created, one of the best Irish scents ever created uh, from the house of Dior, the Dior Homme Intense. Uh, as I said, I've said it many times, this is my most favorite scent profile out there from every, anything that I've ever owned, currently owned or have ever tried. The iris, the lipsticky iris here, plays an absolutely uh, center role in, in this fragrance. It's a comp uh, uh, accompanied by um, a note of uh, lavender. There's some umbre in here, some pure, some vetiver, some leather, some cedar. But again, everything revolves around the note of iris. It's lipsticky, it's powdery, it's fantastic, it has very good performance. Uh, it's very sophisticated uh, type of smell. The only problem with this one is that it is sort of, uh, sort of uh, um, you need to be dressed up in order to wear this one. You just cannot wear this with a simple t-shirt or shorts or something like that. That's the, probably the only drawback of this fragrance. As I said, very good performance, one of the best men's scents ever created, the Dior Homme Intense. And so guys, in today's video, I showed you five 10 out of 10 men's iris fragrances. I hope that you found this video interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye-bye.